Mr. President, distinguished delegates, in the third year of the decade of action and delivery for sustainable development, the world remains in the midst of unprecedented challenges in which COVID-19 pandemic, triple crisis, and severe impacts of Russia's unjustified and unprovoked full-scale military aggression against Ukraine have put years of development progress at risk. According to Sustainable Development Report 2022, for the second year in a row, the world is no longer making progress on SDGs. As mentioned by the Secretary General, the process of building back better from the pandemic will require decisive actions and enhanced international cooperation from member states. At the national level, Georgia continued with its efforts to overcome ongoing difficulties and ensuring sustainable development. By presenting VNR in 2016 and 2020, the government once again demonstrated its strong commitment towards advancing the implementation of 2030 Agenda. Having identified 70 SDGs, 93 targets, and more than 200 indicators as national priorities, the government continues the nationalization process of the SDGs. Mr. President, we believe that SDG 4 on quality education is a key to achieve all SDGs. In recent years, Georgia's education system underwent considerable reforms in education, making it more accessible, more inclusive, updating and enhancing national curricula, improving inter educational infrastructure, uh, the Georgian government successfully managed to readjust the education system quite fast, enabling it to switch to a distance learning mode by introducing a number of various online tools. In addition, let me flag that environmental education plays an important role in achieving SDG 4. This year marks the 45th anniversary since the adoption of Tbilisi Declaration by first intergovernmental conference on environmental education. Mr. President, the science is clear more than ever. Increased ocean pollution seriously jeopardizes the progress made on SDG 14. The government has been carrying out active and effective measures of address it. Besides, Georgia is under undertaking several reforms to protect black sea species and ha their habitats. Excellencies, it is crystal clear there is no, without, no peace without development and no development without peace. The ongoing war in Ukraine has catastrophic effects on people's lives and livelihoods, as well as on global efforts to achieve the agenda worldwide. We strongly condemn Russia's military aggression against Ukraine and express our full solidarity with the Ukrainian people. Mr. President, unfortunately, Russia's aggression and occupation are well known to Georgia. Almost after 14 years since its military aggression against my country, people living in Russia's occupied regions of Abkhazia and Tsinvali region, Georgia are still suffering from persistent violations of their fundamental rights and freedoms. In conclusion, guided by the principle of leaving no one uh, behind, Georgia reiterates its strong commitment to turbocharge its efforts to build back better and greener. I thank you.